A new video has surfaced showing an Indigenous woman being punched and knocked unconscious at a northern Manitoba RCMP detachment. It is again raising questions about the role of community safety officers. You're going to see the video in this next report. You may find the content disturbing. It is sensitive indeed. Carolyn Bargoot has our report. In January 2018, 19-year-old Janesta Garson was out drinking when two community safety officers picked her up and took her to the local RCMP detachment in Thompson. They asked her to strip down to one layer of clothing before placing her in a cell for the night. But when Garson tossed her belt towards one of the men, he punched her in the face and knocked her unconscious. Instead of investigating the community safety officer's actions, RCMP charged Garson with assault. What turns out to be a routine process that's employed in northern Manitoba resulted in Ms. Garson sustaining injuries um, at the hands of RCMP and community safety officers. The officers dragged Garson into a jail cell and left her on her back while she was barely conscious. She was eventually taken to hospital by paramedics. Unlike police, community safety officers do not fall under the jurisdiction of the Independent Investigation Unit of Manitoba. So if there are allegations against them, the RCMP would be responsible for looking into them. In this case, they didn't. Garson is now suing the community safety officers, the RCMP and the city of Thompson for discrimination and excessive use of force. She says she was detained, humiliated and mistreated simply because she's Indigenous. Caroline Bargood, CBC News, Winnipeg.